The term polypharmacy holds connotations about the practice of medicine, but the term has little meaning about the understood specifics. I think providers recognize polypharmacy when we review a long list of medications for a patient or see a bag of bottles the patient carries into the office. We might even ask, how did we get here? My name is Bob Howell. I'm an instructor in pharmacy in the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and faculty in the Geriatric Fellows Program here in Rochester, Minnesota. My co-authors and I have been graciously asked to address our article entitled Polypharmacy Management in Older Patients, which will be appearing in the January 2021 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. It is part of a thematic review on aging and geriatric medicine series. We successfully treat our patients' diseases and improve their overall health, but as they age, our patients often no longer achieve the same benefits in the same way from all of their medication treatments over the years. The purpose of this thematic review is to understand a path out of the plethora of drug therapy problems that can occur. We don't want to simply focus on the numbers of drugs, as that doesn't necessarily tell us much but instead we wanna focus on using the right medications for our patients that have them uh, have the best medica medication outcomes or the best medication experience. We recognize that medication problems become more common the more medications our patients take and the more high risk medications they take. You will note from our references that unintended medication problems are very well published and include more care visits, hospitalizations, and morbidity, and of course, higher costs of healthcare to all. I want to refer you to our outline for deprescribing or reducing therapy whenever possible. The wheel diagram in our article points to the nature and the type of medication problems that can occur. Your assessment of these will be valuable in deciding what changes to make in medication therapy. Some of our patients cannot adhere to all of their medicines due to barriers like cost or side effects, and almost every patient would be overwhelmed taking medications four or five times a day, uh, keeping up with medication schedules, filling their pill boxes, ordering refills, and they will need help. We suggest a purposeful consultation to address medications with a provider or perhaps a clinical pharmacist. We need a better way to understand why our patients aren't benefiting from their medication regimen and look for ways to simplify and improve the medication experience. As we look to improve the regimen, we also need to gain the confidence of our patient and their family advocates who really need to buy into um, looking at a better medication regimen. People do want to hear that simpli simplification is usually possible for most patients. They like to hear providers say that by making changes, we reduce risks like falling and continue to have more benefits versus risk in our patient therapy. Often simplification of the regimen helps overcome current problems like adherence problems, and all of these will help future therapy. Educating the patient and advocates includes to help them understand that most of the supplements that they have accumulated adds to the burden and complexity of their medication regimen. And it does so with possible side effects and interactions and unnecessary cost with very little measurable benefit. In summary, identifying therapy problems and a plan to deprescribe should be workable, not only in just the clinic setting, but in long-term care settings or in a palliative care patient setting. We wanna keep in mind that changes in medication plans need to align with the ongoing healthcare objectives for each patient as they age. We hope you'll find this article helpful in improving your patient's regimen so that they have the best medication experience they can. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. 
If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.